NASCAR on Fox from Atlanta and the 48 back in victory lane. Jimmy Johnson, who will turn 40 years old in September, the six-time champ, getting his 71st career victory. And he said after last year when they finished 11th, that was the worst for him, 11th in points, since becoming a full-time driver. Happy to bounce back, getting congratulations from his team. Kevin Harvick, fifth straight race that he's finished in either first or second. And Chris Neville is standing by with our... Kevin Harvick started at the back today, ran to the front, and dominated the middle part of this race. But Kevin, that second half, did you just lose the balance a little bit? No, I just, uh, I had one bad restart there where I spun the tires on the outside, and, and we just never recovered from uh, that one. And then we got behind the 55, um, you know, and he was kind of shooting for the moon there to, to go on the restart, and he just didn't go, and then we got passed again. But all in all, it was a great day from uh, everyone on my Jimmy John's Budweiser team. Got to thank um, Outback, Hunt Brothers, Ditech, everybody on this car for everything that they do. Kevin Harvick, seven at the, second at Daytona, and second at Atlanta. Celebration call. We'll have more from Atlanta in just a moment. Jimmy Johnson and family warming up to victory. His first lead came just past the 300 mile mark of this 500 mile race. You see the weather, it was that kind of day. The chase standings after two races, the win you get in format. And it felt so good for Jimmy Johnson. I remember last spring we were talking about the struggles of the 48 team. Second race of 2015. He's solidly in the chase. Kevin Harvick close again. Dale Jr. solid all day long. Let's check in with Matt Yoakum. Joey Logano started on the pole. The car seemed spot on for about the first third. Did the track take rubber or did the temperature <laughs> change really affect your car the most? No, uh, that one got better. <laughs> and we didn't. Uh, we started to begin the race. My car drives pretty good. And we made some small adjustments here and there. And um, obviously, you work with your, your track bar adjuster in the car quite a bit. And we, making ground but uh, everyone got faster and, and we kind of stayed the same and um, we made some adjustments to get better but just uh, not as good as some of uh, um, you know, those hundred cars in front of us they're so fast today so um, got a little bit of work to do with the Shaw Penzo Ford but overall still a, a great start to the season uh, a couple top fives we're uh, picking up where we left off just uh, need to find a little bit more speed first and a fourth to start out 2015 well Matt Kenseth had some tire issues in the middle part of this race but Matt you had a tough race at Daytona. You bounced back to a top five here in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, it's a good finish fifth with the day we had. It was a massive struggle. So my old Dollar General uh, team did a great job on our camera. And, um, there's some bad adjustments, some good adjustments. Uh, nobody gave up. They kept working on it, um, did all kinds of stuff to it. And then we just had to gamble and try to get some track position a lot of what we could. Impressive run, and especially that restart by Dale Earnhardt Jr. But what do you take away most from today, especially with the anxiety and unknown coming in? with this package and a new crew sheet? Uh, I wasn't really too worried. It was frustrating Thursday. The car wasn't doing what we wanted. Uh, and we improved and improved and got better and better. And I thought we might, yeah, I mean, I thought we might be able to keep up with Jimmy. I don't know if we'd be able to make a run on him. But we ran over something on a racetrack, knocked the whole reel out of it, and, and uh, it plowed after that. And uh, four got to us. We just, uh, great, great car though. Kelly Blue with Chevrolet was good. Saturday, qualified well. Um, we haven't been good here in a long, long time, you know, several years, and so Greg and the guys worked really hard. The communication is great. He's actually a pretty good cheerleader, to be honest with you. Who knew? So uh, I think he's going to be awesome to work with, and uh, he's got a hell of a future. I'm, I'm glad to be able to have a few years with him here while he's uh, sort of learning the ropes. But we got an awesome team. The guys are great on pit road. We've got a lot of new guys on the overall crew, and they did an awesome job. Steady, consistent, gained a few spots here and there. A great day. I'm just uh, real happy to run good here. I love this racetrack. We just haven't run that good here in a long time, so it feels good to run well. Congratulations to Jimmy and Lowe's whole, the whole 20 or the whole 4888 shop. Uh, I'll be proud of how these cars run. Thank you, Jason. Dale Earnhardt Jr. part of a Chevy 1-2-3 finish. Jimmy Johnson leading the way. We'll have more from Atlanta in just a moment. Coach Swing after the one-two punch with a victory here in Atlanta. Chad Canales engaged. 
prior to the season, Jimmy Johnson said, so that's a good thing for my crew chiefs. A lot happier, a lot more relaxed after a frustrating year. That team is never out of it, and they're off to a fast start now as we head to Las Vegas, where, by the way, Jimmy Johnson has won four times the most of any driver in that track will be there next summer. Yeah, last year, Brad Kozlowski made a last lap pass on Del Earnhardt Jr. to win out in Vegas. He didn't have a very good day today. I look for both Logano and Kozlowski to be the story when we get to Vegas. Strong forwards out there. Uh, how about the start for Joey Logano sitting on the pole, led a lot of laps. We saw some of the guys from the back of the pack, along with Jimmy and Matt Kenseth, work their way up to the front in two races. Anything overall that you see taking us forward? Now, I would watch that Xfinity race next Saturday afternoon because we saw the cars act a whole lot alike today as they did yesterday. Low on the racetrack. The power, the cars, the aerodynamics, they're a lot similar this year. So maybe see who you think's good in that Xfinity race next Saturday. Pick your favorite for Sunday. And you see that on Fox Sports 1. Guys like Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kevin Harvick, and you get the impression they're on the verge of breaking through with an early victory that have so far gone to Jimmy Johnson and Joey Logano. Coming up on Fox Sports 1, Victory Lane. Kenny Wallace will join Michael and I on the winner. Will join us. Jimmy Johnson will chat about today, waiting out the rain and surviving the field. And then later tonight on Fox, tune in for The Simpsons. It's an animation domination, Brooklyn Nine on later. And the last man on earth, the season premiere. That comes up on Fox at 9 o'clock. Next Sunday, it's a mile and a half track. Same as today, although this is officially just over a mile and a half here in Atlanta. You talked about Kozlowski and his success. It's the West Coast swing, a little bit different because after Atlanta, the second race of the season, we go Las Vegas to Phoenix to the Auto Club track in California and Southern California. And, and when you go to the West Coast, you go to Vegas, you want to gamble, right? A good car to put bet on if you're into that kind of thing would be Martin Truex Jr. He was strong in Daytona, saw him overcome a terrible pit stop to fight his way up to the sixth place finish. Strong start to the season for Truex. And Jimmy Johnson, uh, a second favorite, I should say, in Las Vegas. A seven to one choice uh, for this race today, but remember, as soon as Kevin Harvick won the championship last season and they posted odds in Las Vegas, Jimmy Johnson was the odds-on favorite for the upcoming Sprint Cup championship. He just brings it every year, and last year was a bit of an off-season for that team. The new rules, the less former on the back means you got to hang that car out on the edge. Jimmy's as good as it gets at hanging it out. 28 different lead changes today, and Jimmy Johnson with his 71st career Sprint Cup win, and maybe I another Sprint Cup championship down the road. That's a long way off, but Vegas next week on your radar. For our entire gang, I'm Chris Myers. Thanks for watching NASCAR on Fox.